What's going on guys? Thank you for tuning in to another Diecast Emporium model review. Today, as you can see, we'll be taking a look at Tonkin Replica's latest release. It's the D7R track type tractor, which is really just a D6R repainted uh, in military tan. The box is almost identical, albeit for the fact that it is that tan color, whereas normally for the normal version of this model it would be yellow. So it does look kind of nice, and I'm glad to see a change of pace made there. So let's go ahead and get it open and take a look at it. I've already undone the single twisty tie that holds this model down, so you do have to do that, undo that, uh, when you get it out of the box. But as soon as that's done, just go ahead and take it out of this one-piece plastic former, and there she is right there. All of the functionality is identical to the yellow and white version of this model, so I'm not going to go into too much detail there. Uh, the ripper or shanks do go up and down. The blade does move. There are nice hydraulic details all over this model. But really the selling point for this is the fact that uh, this could very well be the last uh, cap model released under the Tonkin name due to the Diecast Masters buyout of both the Norscott and Tonkin replicas licensees. So I suspect that this model may become rare. Also, if you're into the defense models and you're watching this review on a computer, I'll go ahead and post a link right above the screen there, and you can check out some other offerings that are available on the market. So for size comparison, um, there was a D6K made by Norscott in military tan. And it just so happens that I have one of those right over here. So we'll kind of post them next to each other. There's a good size comparison of just uh, how big they are, the blade width and everything else. And so there's the D6K by Norscott. And of course, the D7, which is, like I've said before, really just a D6, just repainted. So the tracks don't want to roll on any really smooth of a surface. So if we bring in some simulated Afghanistan turf, as you can see here, now go ahead and move it closer to the camera. As you can see here, the tracks roll without an issue whatsoever. So again, model is great. The low production numbers make it highly collectible. So if you're a fan of either military models or, of course, uh, Caterpillar models or even Tonkin models, I definitely would recommend that you add this to your collection. Um, as is the case for most all of my Tonkin models, these are currently available through centralvalleymodels.net, so check them out. They always have some great deals, and uh, they have the extensive lineup of Tonkin Caterpillar equipment available for sale. So, as always, guys, thank you for checking in and watching this video, and we will see you in the next one.